Drowning is the second leading cause of death to Canadian children aged 1 to 14 years. A small child can drown in as little as two and a half centimeters of water in a few minutes. Staying within sight and arm's reach of your child at all times can save a life. Most infant drownings happen in the bathtub, so always stay right beside your child. If you have to leave the room, take your child with you. Never leave an older sibling and young child alone in the bathtub together. And did you know infant bath seats and bath rings are dangerous? They have been linked to several drowning deaths. Playing in and around water can be fun for the whole family, but it can also be dangerous. Be within arm's reach of your young child when in, on, or around water, and keep an eye on them at all times. Make sure young children and weak or non-swimmers are wearing a life jacket or personal flotation device when in or around water. Water rings and pool toys are not safety devices and should not be used in replace of life jackets or PFDs. Jesse was a beautiful little boy. My friend, her mother-in-law had a pool. My oldest daughter and my son and myself and her and her two children, we were all in the pool and then I got out with my friend and the kids kept on playing. And then I remember at one point, just looking around, you know, you head count, and it's like, oh, well, where's Jesse? And we couldn't find him. So we just right away just kind of ran on the pool and went into the deep end and, and he was just, there he was, at the, laying at the bottom of the pool. I don't know what happened. Like he just all of a sudden slipped out and just slid down and it was, it was, it was awful. You cannot ever be careful enough. And to keep an eye on your children at all times because you just cannot believe how quickly it can happen and to have proper flotation devices for children and I would say to make sure that they get swimming lessons, that they learn to swim at an early age and that they get to be comfortable around the water and water wings and little floaty things just children can take them off and then you don't even really notice. You think they're okay, but they, they aren't. And so, to me, you just can't be careful enough. Backyard pools are a high risk for toddler drownings. Make sure backyard pools have a surrounding fence on all four sides with self-closing and self-locking gates. Always empty pools and buckets when not being used. Remember, any body of water, no matter how shallow or small, can be a drowning danger to your child.